All right, let's solve and graph this inequality over here. We've got distributed property. Let's do that first. The negative of a parentheses just means you flip the signs inside the parentheses. Negative, negative K is positive K. Negative, negative three is positive three. Drop down the dose. Drop down the seven. Drop down the less than. On the right side, I have three plus two, so let's just do that. K plus five. On the left side, we have seven, so seven is less than K plus five. Subtract 5, subtract 5, 2 is less than k. Now, some teachers might be okay with you circling that and calling it a day. This teacher is not. If 2 is less than k, the way you should write it out is 2 is less than k, so k is greater than 2. Flip everything, including the sign. Now, the reason why I do this is now it makes graphing a little bit more sense. This means our answer has got to be any number greater than 2 not including two, but any number greater than two. So when I graph this on a number line, I put two wherever I want. So this will be three, four, five, six, seven, one, zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, right? To graph K is greater than two, I put a circle at two and don't fill it in. If you fill it in, you are saying that we're including two, but we don't want to include two. If K is greater than two, then I'm going to highlight everything to the right side of it like so. And this graph now says that if I take any number greater than two, like five, like seven, like 7.5, like a billion, and plug it into the original equation, seven is going to be less than whatever number I choose. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you solve and graph an inequality.